हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इस एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड ए प्रॉब्लम ऑन कंटीन्यूअस टाइम फॉरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म हियर फॉर द सिग्नल एक्स ऑफ टी व्हिच इज सिग्नम फंक्शन वी नीड टू फाइंड द फॉरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म एंड ड्रॉ इट्स मैग्नीट्यूड एंड फेज द सिग्नल व्हिच इज गिवन इज एक्स ऑफ टी इज इक्वल टू सिग्नम फंक्शन सो वी नो the signum function can be represented like this where for t value greater than 0 the signum function will be having the amplitude 1 for t value less than 0 the signum function will be having the magnitude minus 1 for t is equal to 0 the signum function will be 0 now this signum function we can represent it as 2 u of t minus 1 we know u of t will be 1 for t greater than 0 u of t will be 1 for t value greater than 0 so for t value greater than 0 we can put 2 into 1 minus 1 that will be equal to 1 so amplitude of signal will be 1 when t value is less than 0 u of t will be equal to 0 at that case it will be 0 minus 1 so it will be minus 1 so we are getting amplitude as 1 as well as minus 1 from this equation so that's why we can represent signum function as 2 u of t minus 1 now let us take x of t will be equal to 2 u of t minus 1 now let us differentiate on both side so we'll get d by dt x of t will be equal to d by dt of 2 u of t minus 1 also you can remember differentiation of u of t we will get the delta function delta of t so using this we can write differentiation of x of t will be equal to 2 delta of t so if we differentiate one we will get zero so we'll get 2 delta of t now let us take fourier transform on both sides so if we take fourier transform on both side we can write fourier transform of d by dt x of t will be equal to fourier transform of 2 delta of t for lhs let us use time differentiation property so if we use time differentiation property for a transform of d by dt x of t we can write it as j omega into x of j omega so that will be equal to for rhs if we take for a transform of delta of t we'll get 1 so for a transform of delta of t will be equal to 1 so in rhs we'll get the value as 2 therefore for a transform x of j omega we will get it as 2 by j omega so this is the for a transform for signum function now we need to draw magnitude and phase let us consider magnitude first magnitude of x of j omega we can write it as 2 by omega because we are considering only the magnitude and phase of the signal x of j omega we can write it as so always remember while taking the phase we need to take tan inverse of imaginary part divided by real part in the equation also this tan inverse should be taken as negative for denominator terms and it should be taken as positive for numerator terms so using this let us write the phase in the numerator we are having only the real term we don't have imaginary term so that's why we'll write it as tan inverse of imaginary term is 0 divided by real term is 2 so for denominator term we need to take minus tan inverse of in the denominator term we are having only imaginary term we don't have any real term so imaginary term is 
omega here so we will take omega divided by 0 so this is tan inverse of 0 minus tan inverse of infinity so tan inverse of 0 will be 0 so tan inverse of infinity it will be 90 degree so the phase x of j omega we obtain it as minus 90 degree that can be taken as minus pi by 2 so we have obtained the magnitude as well as phase of the signum function now let us represent magnitude to represent magnitude let us take omega in x axis let us plot the magnitude x of j omega so now in this magnitude term if we put different values for omega if we put omega is equal to 0 magnitude will be infinity if we put omega is equal to 1 we will get magnitude as 2 if we put omega is equal to 2 magnitude will be 1 for omega is equal to 0 we will be having infinity for omega is equal to 1 we will be having 2 somewhere here then omega is equal to 2 we will be having value as 1 likewise this will be decreasing up to infinity so if we join all these points so we will get a curve like this so this is for positive values of omega if we take omega as negative values so we will get the reflection of this image so we will get the graph in the opposite direction so this is the magnitude of the signal now let us plot the phase so again to plot the phase in x axis let us take omega and we are plotting the phase of x of j omega now this phase value which we obtained is for positive values of omega so for omega value greater than 0 we will get minus pi by 2 so somewhere here we can get minus pi by 2 so for positive values of omega it will be minus pi by 2 and for negative values of omega it will be plus pi by 2 so omega value less than 0 we will get plus pi by 2 so this is the phase plot now let us consider the second problem for x of t is equal to u of t we need to find the Fourier transform so here for unit step function we need to find the Fourier transform from our previous problem we understood that signum function can be written as 2 u of t minus 1 from, from this equation we can write u of t is equal to 1 by 2 signum function plus 1 by 2 so let us take Fourier transform on both sides so we can write Fourier transform of u of t will be equal to Fourier transform of 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 signum function so here the first term is constant so from the properties of Fourier transform if you are having a constant for this constant if you perform Fourier transform we will get constant multiplied with 2 pi delta of omega in the given problem the constant is 1 by 2 so if you take Fourier transform it will be 1 by 2 2 pi delta of omega plus 1 by 2 we know signum function if you take Fourier transform we will get 2 by j omega so we can write Fourier transform of signum function as 2 by j omega so here we can cancel out these two and these two so finally we can write Fourier transform of u of t is equal to delta of omega plus 1 by j omega this is about problems on Fourier transform I hope you have understood the topic thank you